Hello, everybody. Welcome along. It's Championship Predictions Round 40. We are into the big 4-0 territory now, right at the end of the season. Um, just for complete transparency in the space-time continuum, you know what the results of the Good Friday games are. We don't, but we frankly have no time in our schedules to um, record this over the weekend. So this is preempting the um, Friday games. Get involved in the comments with your own predictions. Give yourself a point if you get a correct outcome. Give yourself three if you get a correct score. And give yourself a bonus point, but you've got to nominate it before the games are played for your most outlandish prediction. Mr. Parkin, first or second in the round 40 ledger? Second, please. Interesting. I wonder why he's done that. There will be a reason, but it might take me a few fixtures to figure out what it is. Uh, Leicester versus Norwich. There's a greater thought process here because we're, you know, we're really predicting here ahead of time. So, you know what I mean? And people might say, you, well, you said so and so we're going to get promoted in your last video. And now they're going to be four <laughs> points behind them because you predicted. Do you know what I mean? So I'm giving myself a little bit of extra thinking time. It's a lot to cover, isn't it? You know, it's, it's, it's like if you're a compulsive liar, you have to just tell more and more lies to cover yeah, the I'm first be like, lies. Well, they're going to win the last six games of the season, clearly. <laughs> to nil. Um, just quickly, that is why, obviously, you've not had a score update as well, because we don't know what the scores are on the doors. They'll be in the championship check-in podcast. I'm just procrastinating on Leicester Norwich. Um, I don't know, Norwich get something in this one, do they, Sam? Norwich are going to get a point. Leicester two, Norwich two. Oh, um, no, I think Leicester will win. I think Leicester will win. I think the little twists and turns are maybe going to come slightly later. Um, I'll go for Leicester to win. I think Norwich will probably score. I'll go for a 2-1 home win. And we will move you on. Birmingham versus Preston. Oof. I'm trying to remember what I said there about 10 minutes ago. Um, okay, Birmingham against Preston. I think I said Birmingham would lose. Preston would lose. I think that this is the type of game where Gary Rowett will uh, have a big marker pen underlining it on his Don't whiteboard. Lose. On his whiteboard, uh, this is the these are the ones that they're going to have to win if they're going to stay in the division, and they will do by one goal to nil. Would I get in trouble from you if I predict every one of Gary Rowett's games with Birmingham between now and the end of the season to be one-one? Would that be a gonna, problem? I thought you tack, you were thinking tactically. If you can come in with the same cushion to Easter Monday, you're just going to say the same scores as me to remain in uh, front. That, no, that would be nonsensical. But yeah, I'm. I know I did Birmingham drawing one. No, I did nil nil at QPR, didn't I? Um, you know the results of that, and we don't. Birmingham one, Preston one. I'm get, I'm going to do it, and I don't care what anyone says. In, I mean, I do care what anyone says in the comments. I cry myself to sleep at night being shouted at by fans of various championship teams, maybe including Coventry or Cardiff, because um, it's Coventry versus Cardiff. Um, that means I fancy Coventry to go back to back and six points over the Easter weekend, because I'm about to predict them to beat Cardiff. Coventry to Cardiff nil, Sam. Yeah, already I'm thinking about those Coventry fans, um, thinking how on earth has he got them in eighth if I'm going to give them back-to-back -back wins. Um, I've done the same. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to say the, you know, this backlog of games, you know, that's what we're that's what we're hanging our hats on, mate. That's what we're backlog. Um, I could see Cardiff maybe getting something here because they are very much going to be, what's the terminology I've had over the weekend, beachy, uh, probably in a, a week or two's time. But no, it probably won't happen here, will it? Um, but... Given that it's um, Easter Monday, quick turnaround, 1-0 Coventry. Middlesbrough versus Sheffield Wednesday, Sam. Middlesbrough versus Sheffield Wednesday. Um, yeah, I've got to stop giving Sheffield Wednesday points, haven't I? Um, so for that reason, yeah, I think this will be, yeah, I think this will be tight again. I'm going to go for yet another home win. I mean, this is going to have to change in a minute, isn't it? But I'll go for a yet another home win and I'll go for Borough to beat Sheffield Wednesday by two goals to nil. I think these two sides are going to flip between nice wins and defeats. I don't think Middlesbrough and Sheffield Wednesday are going to draw too much. So all of my logic says they shouldn't draw with each other. 
So with this being the championship, I will call the draw on this one. And I will also play my bonus point here, Sam, because this is comedy. Middlesbrough three. Sheffield Wednesday, three. How about that? He's laughing at that one. He's like, Ben's thrown away his bonus point here at this vital time of the season here. Um, I am up first. Oh, Plymouth v Bristol City. How did that miss the um, mouth-watering matchup? I picked them. Um, I've gone for Argyle to survive, haven't I? So I'd better be giving them some three points here. We, we're far too attached to these final predictions, aren't we? We're letting them mess with our brains here. Plymouth, two. Bristol City, one. Thought you were going to kill me there. Um, I'm going to go for the Desmond here. I'm going to go for Argyle to get a point, but I think this could be this could be kind of shackles off. Let's go and have a go here. And I don't think Bristol City are going to have obviously much to play for, so I'll go for the two-two. Uh, Rotherham versus Millwall. You're up first, Sam. Cool. Well, I predicted Millwall to lose at home, so therefore I will go for Millwall to win away. I'll go for Rotherham to go down by two goals to nil. Okay, that's opened up the door for Rotherham nil, Millwall one for me then, hasn't it, Sam? Uh, defend that clean sheet, take the three points. Um, I, I haven't looked at the maths yet. I don't know whether Rotherham can can drop over the Easter weekend. And certainly, if they've got eight games, it's 18 points now. It, it, I think it could be, couldn't it? But I'll do the maths uh, properly, maybe on Easter Saturday, not right now. Um, quick pause for the cause, guys. As ever, we are brought to you in association with Match Bingo. Uh, so, um, obviously, the Premier League isn't playing on Monday, um, Easter Monday, which is Monday the 1st, isn't it? But you get yourself the opportunity, a massive prize pot for Manchester City versus Arsenal. What a game that's going to be in the Premier League. A um, £1,000 if you're um, playing Match Bingo, potentially up for grabs there. Um, I spoke to James at Match Bingo earlier this morning. There is likely to be a free card in the championship on Easter Monday. We don't know what that is yet, so hold the phone for that one. But you can play bingles for free as well on Easter Monday. Head over to the Match Bingo app, or even better still, click that there QR code. If you pause your video right now, your phone should take a picture of it um, and they will know over at Match Bingo that we sent you. Get involved in the free games, but if you want the big money, Manchester City versus Arsenal. I'm sure plenty of you are going to be watching that, even with your EFL allegiances here. That should be a magnificent game. Please play responsibly. I am up first, Sam, for Stoke versus Huddersfield. I've got to forget these long-term predictions because they all lead me to call in a Stoke win here, don't they? But that is how I feel. I think Stoke can do something. And you know what you were saying about games being circled? Home games against rivals. This is this is big for Schumacher and Stoke, isn't it? Stoke, oh, let's go tight. Stoke one, Huddersfield nil. Yeah, I can't disagree with you. And especially as my story is playing out with Huddersfield surviving last kick of the, the ball at Portman Road final day of the season. So <laughs> Hell it, they've got... Yeah. They've got better days ahead. Um, I think this is one of the games that Stoke win in their pursuit of survival. Um, I will go for a 2-0 Stoke win. Sunderland versus Blackburn. Sam Parkin. Yeah, I'm running out of places to get my Bonio in here. So would you give me Bonio. a black? <laughs> Bonio. Would, you, would you give me a Blackburn 2-0 away win? Bonus point. Yes. It stinks of a 1-0, doesn't it, if they're going to get it. I'm going to go for a 2-0 Blackburn. Kind of outlier, but maybe the, the day that the belief grow. Um, we are dwindling away, our subscribers here, Sam, in the Sunderland persuasion in the North East, because neither of us have predicted they're going to win for about two months. So or score, I don't think, in the, the last two. Sorry, guys. So I'm going to do it. Why the hell not? Sunderland 2, Blackburn Rovers 1. A win for the Black Cats in their fizzling out of fizzling out seasons. And we move on to Swansea versus QPR. I wonder whether this might be a home win, Sam. But you've seen Swansea very recently, so you're going to have a better take on this than me. 
I'm going to call it Swansea 2, QPR 1. Yeah, I like it, mate. I, I just think, you know, Friday might take a lot out of QPR against Birmingham. That's how I'm seeing it. And, and I, you know, I think Swansea are on the up, definitely. Um, I think I'm going to agree with you here. 2-2 two, two is the other thing jumping out at me. You've gone 2-1. I'll go for that, actually. Have I had a 2-2? Two, two? I did. I'll go, Bristol City. I'll go for another 2-2. Two, two. Like, shackles off, Swansea. Yeah, bit of an open game. 2-2. Two, two. West Brom versus Watford. Get that Corver on clean sheet home win in there. Yeah. Yeah, I went for West Brom to win at Millwall as well, didn't I? So, oh, that's a big shout, isn't it? But, yeah, I'll go for it. I'll go for West Brom to, to win this. I'll go for Watford to be harder to beat than I expect them to be against Leeds. I'll go for a... Oh, I can't do another one nil, can I? I'll go do another one nil. It's going to be a hat trick of one nils. One nil, just because, yeah, the fatigue, rubbish games... Easter Monday, do you know what I mean? Horrible drab affairs, one goal, loads of leggy players just seeing it out. Well, you got a three-pointer in our, uh, well, as we're doing this, it won't be our previous round because there will have been another one in between. But you got that for West Brom winning 2-0 at home. So I'm going to try and steal that idea from you, which is not an original Sam Parkin idea because they've been doing it all season, haven't they? Clean sheet wins at home. Uh, West Brom 2, Watford 0. Here comes the mouth-watering matchup from the Championship Checking Podcast as Ipswich versus Southampton, which just stinks of goals, 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 doesn't it? Um, we're going to get loads of Desmonds on this as the predictions. So you're not in, so I'm going to steal it from you right now. Uh, Ipswich 2, Southampton 2. I've already had two two twos, so that was a lot of two, twos. Two twos. I'm not having it. I'm going, you know, I've, I've built my little, you know. I, I think know you're going to go 4-3 Southampton here. No, no, it's going to play out in my mind. I've given you my 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 final sittings. So for that reason, Ipswich, keep it going. Ipswich 3, <laughs> Southampton 2. Wow. Just imagine that at 5.30 on the TV. Leeds versus Hull, Sam, is our last yeah. game. Yeah, this is, this is it. This is the weekend. Leeds fully foot on the gas. Convincing couple of wins. 3-1 leads. I'm just trying to work out. We're both going to predict two wins for Leeds. That'd be 14 wins in 15, won't it? That's insanity. But um, why am I doing this? Hull won at Leicester, didn't they? Yeah, the lap. Hull win at Southampton? They... Got something. They won there, did they not? They won there I quite recently, 2-1. I think they won there 2-1. I think there was the Liam Rossini, uh kind of um, after-match speech went a bit viral, I think. Could be wrong. Last month well, or so, I've, wasn't it? I've added some sense of jeopardy before I tell you that Leeds are going to win. <laughs> um, what did you go? 3-1. Uh, Leeds 2, Hull nil, And we've both locked in six points for Leeds United as the top four career towards 90 points still with six games to play, most of them. Uh, get involved in the comments with your predictions there. Give yourself um, scores. Let us know if you beat me or Sam. It's not too hard, is it, Sam? And um, Sam, give us your final words there on... This will be Easter Monday now as I struggle with the um, recording mm. schedule here. Yeah, I mean, if if mine come in, I give you the money myself. In the, the words of uh, Les Dennis, because I think I've predicted four of the top five to go back to back over Easter Southampton, the full guys. So um, yeah, with retrospect, maybe I need a little bit more thinking time. I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> what I do know is going to happen. What I do know is going to happen is that I'm going to overtake you probably over Easter, Ben, just to break that to you. I love that. I love that fighting talk to um, end this. Where where are we on the scores? I'm eight points. It could happen. We'll see where we are and we'll give you the updated scores on the Championship Checking Podcast once the Easter weekend is concluded. Now, you might see a YouTuber with millions of subscribers and views a week driving a Bentley. It's a bit more modest, I have to say, when you're covering the Championship. So if you can find a few quid each month to support over on Patreon or by hitting the Join button here, you are making the world of difference for myself, Shaley, and Enid.